Thank you all so much for joining our last session of our Swift UI study group. Um, today's topic is uh, recording audio in Swift UI. And so we've built up this app over the past 10 sessions. Um, thank you, Betty, so much for running all these. And over to you for our last session. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I wake up. <laughs> thank you, Sierra. Um, so I begin to share my screen. Um, yes, the the last session, uh, uh, and uh, it was uh, about Sufi. <laughs> and uh, to to just to present me a little bit, if you want, I'm a, the iOS developer. I'm living in Amsterdam in the Netherlands, and uh, I uh, you can uh, follow me if you want to 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 see article that I have uh, has written, or if you want to follow me for future talks. Betty.fm, it's my voice, and also on Twitter, obviously, and. Yes, it is uh, the, the, the 10, 10 uh, today of uh, a series uh, and the spirit of that uh, series in the uh, study group uh, with a woman who could mobile um, is, was to, to learn uh, step by step and following the Apple learning uh, uh, platform and uh, create an app from scratch each week with a different framework and uh, focus on the Swift UI way of passing data, of, uh, 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 of man managing state. Um, and uh, the goal uh, is to, to feel confident and to, to don't uh, hesitate to ask questions. And uh, for that, uh, we uh, we have creating a, a an app from scratch, and uh, this app uh, is called Schrodinger. And uh, the main goal of the app is to manage uh, uh, daily meetings. And uh, in the build of this app, uh, we uh, have different inputs during these different weeks and uh, here you can uh, you can see all the different input of this uh, series and today <laughs> the last one we will focus on recording audio uh, with uh, with the app at the end of this uh, moment today you will have if you follow uh, me, uh, you will have the application that we have already started the other week, but especially at the end, we will have this part. Uh, during the session of uh, daily meetings, the app will be able to record and to transform in text the, the record automatically. So here you have this transcript, transcript of the meeting and it will be added. The video is going really fast. In a, this history here at the at the bottom of the app. So you will add an history with all the transcription the to the from sp speech to, to text. So you can take the previous code from the last week on my GitHub and in the repository, which is called example, it's it's a public repository. And you have all the last uh, session with all the last uh, code from last session. So you download the zip and uh, you and zip, you open it in Xcode as I have done. And uh, you can start with me at, this, at the same time. So here you have, I will put on the left, the tutorial from Apple and on the right, the Xcode app. Up. 
like this. <laughs> so transcribing speech to text, you have to download uh, in order to text uh, to take uh, the file uh, that uh, Apple uh, give uh, to to us. You have to uh, to to download the project file. So just at the top of the tutorial, and it is a folder which is called trans transcribing speech to text. So let's go. So at the beginning, in order in uh, it's a common way of uh, doing in the in the application is to ask the user if he agree to to give access to um, to in this in this case to the speech recognizer and also to the microphone. So to do that, you will go in your application in the project here in the target. And now in uh, it's uh, Xcode in the, I think uh, since uh, 12, in school 12, info is here, not in a special file. You have to, um, to click on the plus button and you have to search from privacy. You can read privacy and here it is first privacy speech recognition recognition so you scroll down speech recognition this one and of course it will open uh, a message to the customer so so you have to add a message here i will copy paste here you can view a text transcription there is another uh, another one which you have to as I mentioned before, the, the access, you have to ask the access, the privacy for the microphone. It is called microphone. And as uh, the other uh, permission, you always have to add a message. Yeah. And that's okay for that part. Uh, you can run the application if you want here yeah, currently it's empty but we will add inform more information so okay now uh, we have all the uh, uh, the authorization not the authorization but we prepare to ask the user the authorization and now we will go, uh, yeah, we need, as I mentioned just before, you need to, uh, to take in the folder that you download from the Apple tutorial website in the starting project. So here, starting project, in Schrodinger, and you have in the model speech recognizer. So you have already the class which is prepared in my model. Yes, here. So don't don't forget to to stick the box and finish. So here, here you have all the 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 class. So we will make a focus on it. Um, so you can, yeah, you have uh, ex import this framework and this framework, the other one you already know, AV Foundation and Speech. Um, this, uh, in this uh, class, yeah, you have the as authorization, you have different method, the stop, the reset, the reset, Etc. and as authorization to recognize, suspends the current task to call request authorization, which asks the user for permission before processing with speech recognition. Ask permission to record, suspend the current task to call request record permission, which asks the user for permission before proceeding to access the microphone. So 
indexation, you will call the transcam method in the meeting view. Now you've got the, the, the good class and how to integrate it for at the beginning you go to uh, the meeting view you have to add a state object so this you add a new variable which is called speech recognizer speech recognizer method so you create a new state object named speech recognizer the initial either request access to um, to the speech recognizer and microphone the first time the system called the object um, you will begin transcribing when the meeting view appears when the view appears and stop recording when the meeting view disappear so now we'll add uh, all the 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 call to action in the appear and in the disappear so in on in on appear just above this func you will ask to reset the speech speech recognizer and to transcribe call reset ensure that the speech recognizer is ready to begin and on disappear just after the first session you will add speech recognition on disappear stop transcribe transcribing so when the meeting timer screen disappear the stop transcribing method stop the transcription finally you will create property in the same file to uh, toggle the recording state in the view life cycle it will be a state and like all the state variable, it should have to be private because it's stay in the view. So I add the property. You will use this variable in next session to display recording indicator. After you call speech recognizer transcribe is on appear, set the value is recording to true. So just before the last method, we called is recording equal to after you call recognizer stop transcribing is on disappear, set the value is recording to false on the third part mm, is recording equal false. And that's it for this part. Now we will, yeah, if we build the application, just to check that uh, I don't uh, miss parentheses or curly bracket. That's okay. Yes. And so now we will display recording indicator. Uh, I can um, show the Canva. Here, meeting view. Yeah, we will add an indicator. Just uh, ouch, ignore. ignore. Okay. Okay, no, no compiler error. I put again. Yeah, build. That's okay. So I would just uh, add an indicator above the text. Kathy is speaking. Uh, now that your app can uh, transcribe meetings, you will add visual elements and accessibility to inform users when transcription is in progress. So in the meeting, where is this one? Meeting timer view. Um, create an is recording, create an is recording property and pass the is recording argument to meeting timer view in the preview. So just above this one, we will add, we'll add a let is recording. It is a boolean, and in the 
compiler should not be happy, yes, we will ask Xcode to complement and we'll put true. Compiler now uh, fail, no. If failed, um, maybe in another is recording. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It will be mentioned just after. Wait, wait, wait. So the compiler generator because an additional call site require an argument. So in the meeting view, update uh, the call to the meeting. Here, yeah, meeting tab view, the recording. Xcode will fix it for me. Yes. And it is the re is recording that we just create before your project now compile command b yes it is and uh, um, in meeting yes in meeting timer view so meeting timer view after the is speaking text up so here is speaking, I will add an image. Resume. So I will add my image. I will take a system image. So if is not, oh, I make a typo mistake. Oh, yes. Oh, rename this one. Recording, rename, yes. Now it's much better. So uh, system name is recording. We put the image, which is called Mike. And if it's not, we call Mike slash resume. Uh, Now you can see in action, but it's a little bit too small. I think we will change the pattern. Adding this image and NCD user experience by informing users when the device is actively recording. So change the font style, yes, to the image. Uh, image here, which one? So bigger and with a padding on the top. Ah, much better. Okay. So change of sign at top padding to give the, the image more visible emphasis. Recall that the system treats SF symbols like fonts. So you can use a, that font modifier to apply different font weights to the symbols. Now we will modi modify the image with an accessibility label that reads either with transcription or without transcription based on the value of its recording. So I will make a copy paste just here. This accessibility label voiceover users might be unable, unable to use visual cues, so include auditory indicators in addition to visual ones. That's okay for this part. Command B, build succeeded. So now we will create an history view to, uh, to transcript the audio file in the text. So for that, in model history, in my model, I have to add, uh, yes, I have to add uh, a text, the transcript part, add a transcript property. That's an optional string because it could be nil string and also in the uh, init part, yes. At the end, trans and we will give a value, a value, we'll put it to nil 
different value of nil and also here is missing transcript Google transcript so uh, that's okay for the model now in the view in the meeting view this one uh, we will initialize we have to initialize history um, with the speech recognizer that transcript property so new my my property is already here but in disappear uh, yes on disappear in that moment we have i think uh, <laughs> i think at the end yes i have to add my transcripts with speech recognizer and the proper text. Now we will create a new Swift UI file named history view and add an history constant. So command N Swift UI file, which is which is called history view not in the pretty best placed ever but it's a tutorial um, so create the swift ui name is to review and we will add an history constant just above the body history and it is coming from history file the compiler generate an error until you update the preview and for that we will uh, give a sample data for the preview so just above the preview you can copy paste the the, uh, the data and let xcode fix it for us and it is history then pass the variable to the history view initializer. You project now compile, command B, without error, that's the case. But now we have to uh, show, I will show the Canva at this part, resume. In live. So create a VStack with leading alignments and embed it in a scroll view. So my scroll view inside a VStack with an alignment on the lead part. A scroll view we already uh, we already saw. Uh, at multiple times, what is a scroll view in the previous week? Um, and now we will add, because we don't see, even if we start here, the preview, we don't see nothing. So we will add a divider and put a padding on the above but it is inside the parentheses on the bottom with bottom padding to create visual separation. We, we don't see a lot, but it did it. Yes. Yeah, you can see the scroll view behavior, create an attendee A line. So it's just above my divider attendees which font a line the attendees section will show attendees at the time of recording recording now we have to add the history oops no it's not a string it's a string, but it's uh, uh, in 
the view model attending so history uh, attend this string attend this string oh, maybe I made a mistake in a history part attendee uh, call it attendee no see later so in my history view here yeah and we call attendee uh -uh. this one attendee string add an history extension with a list formatter to display attendees in the human readable string then add the text view and pass in the meeting attendees list formatter converts the attendee um, into a single comma separated string so now use optional binding to safely unwrap the value of transcript so i will copy past uh, not this part this part yeah and uh yeah i missed the extension maybe just before yes we have to put an extension of history at ah, the new the new variable is an in extension here so yes add history extension with a list formatter, this one, just outside of my struct. Now it will work. The compiler error and resume this part. Ah, my story. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now I've got the extension. Okay, I've got also the optional binding to unwrap transcript. I got transcript in it. Modify the label of, uh, yes, the, which one? This one. Get to this one with a different font, which is a eight line with a padding on top with the adding headline font style and top padding yes uh, add a navigation title to the scroll view that show history the date date with a date style add padding after the title so on the scroll view here We'll add a navigation title and a padding. Yes, it's update. Text that date style includes other formatters to display dates, such as offset, relative, and timer. And now we will come and B, okay, to build, we will display the history view in the detail view so in the detail view i can put it away finally you will integrate the story view into scrollinger you will tell the app to ensure that you can view a story for each scrum so in detail view add a navigation link that use history view as a destination just here so on the section history this one in the forage just here we will add navigation link and it will embed this part control i build to see if everything is okay so now we can build the application and we will add information for example we can add uh, ios uh, dev we can oh, see minute shares and also attended uh, sierra uh, john uh, lucy in the ES dev and uh, design uh, design Team, we put 40 minutes, lavenders, 
and uh, <laughs> uh, Murray, Murray, this one, uh, <laughs> and uh, okay, if I want to, yeah, now to test uh, the start meeting. So now when I uh, open the screen, I have to authorize, authorize the, uh, to, to, to allow access to the microphone. And Sierra is speaking, John is speaking. Ah, yes, I have to talk in order to register in the history. Siri is speaking, John is speaking, I have to talk away. We can do it again. This is a test uh, for the speech to test exercise in the Swift uh, Siri group. So now it is a test for the speech to test exercise in the Swift Siri group, Siri. <laughs> so, okay, you can see that it's working. Thank you very much for your attention and uh, really happy to have done uh, that uh, series. Wow, it's working. And uh, that's it for today. You can uh, have also just after this uh, tutorial at the end, more resources and know exactly what you learn during uh, all that uh, weeks. <laughs> and uh, if you want to continue, there is also other mu module on the UI kit part, just uh, after the Swift UI tutorials. That's it, that's it for me. <laughs> Sierra. Thanks, Betty. Oops. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for running this entire series. Um, for anyone checking this out, please join our Slack Women Who um, you can find information uh, womenhoodcode.com slash mobile. Uh, we hope to see you in the Slack and asking lots of questions about Swift UI. Until next time, have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye. <laughs>